my turn. That was a great carpet. Thank you. I got them. Oh. I got them. Got what, Coach Brad? I got tickets to Jurassic Jungle. It's a jungle with real dinosaurs. Does that mean we get to learn about dinosaurs today? You betcha. But first, I'm going to go pack a bag. Uh, you can go pack lunch and snacks for us. And Coach Haley, why don't you warm up with our adventurers? Sounds good. Are you ready to learn gymnastics? I'm Coach Brad. I'm Coach Haley. And I'm Coach Catherine. And this, this is Adventures in Gymnastics. All right, friends. We're going to start running in place so we can practice running away from the dinosaurs. Ready?
and reach all the way down. And make sure those legs are staying nice and straight. We have one more stretch, adventurers. We are going to push up into our tabletop. And can you rub your belly with one hand? And now try it with the other hand. That's rock and roll. And let's do it one more time. Push up into your tabletop and point your toe towards the sky. Try it with the other leg. And let's rock and roll. Awesome job, adventurers. We are ready to head to the Jurassic Jungle. Let's go. Whoa. I can't believe we're in a jungle with real dinosaurs. Wait, didn't dinosaurs go extinct 65 million years ago? Wait, what does extinct mean? It means that there are no more animals or species alive of a certain kind on this planet. Then how are there dinosaurs here, Coach Brad? How do I know? I'm not a scientist. Didn't you make a shrink ray? <laughs> shrink ray. That would be dangerous. I think I hear something. Let's go check it out. Look, it's a real thesaurus. This dinosaur was from the Triassic period, which is the first of three periods that dinosaurs lived in. This dinosaur turned into a brachiosaurus, which had a long neck that it used to reach up really tall to eat leaves from the top of trees, kind of like a giraffe. Wow, I want to reach up for the trees. I'm too short. How about we try some stretch jumps? Great idea, Coach Catherine. I'll go first. Okay. I'm going to stand on the sun on our mission mat. We're going to sit down in our chair, swing our arms, and jump as high as we can. Let's do it two more times. Great job, yes. Coach Ailey. So when we're doing the jumps, do I have my legs apart in a straddle or together in a pipe? We're going to have them together in a pipe, just okay. like they're glued. Perfect. So ready? Let's do a few more. And one. And two. And Coach Ailey, do you mind arms be straight by my ears or just bent? Well, we have to glue our arms to our ears the whole time when we're up in the air. We want to reach as tall as we can. Okay. So let's try and reach for the trees. One. Two. One more. Three. That was fun. That really was. What other kind of jumps can we do? Ooh, I can show you guys a tough jump. That's my favorite one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to stand on the sun, and I'm going to jump up as high as I can and become a tiny little ball like this. Let's do two more. So, do we bring our knees in front of us? Or do we put it behind us? Well, it's not like a heel kicker. It's just like a tuck that we do in our stretch. So you want to make a bubble in front of you and bring your knees up to pop the bubble. Just like that. Very good, coaches. So I'm going to make my bubble and pop it. And try and land where you start. So if you start on the triangles, land on the triangles or the squares, whatever you like. I'm going to go back to the side, make a bubble and pop the bubble. Great job keeping your legs close to your body, Coach Brad. Thanks, Coach Catherine. And last one. Great job. What jump should we do next? Hmm. Oh, you haven't shown us your straddle jumps yet. Oh, yeah. Coach Brad, will you take these to correct my form? Absolutely. So a straddle jump is when we make a big star with our body. And we are going to be landing in the same place we start. Ready? Straddle jump. Let's do it again. Straddle jump. Great job. Let's do it one more time. Straddle jump. Do we keep our toes pointed or flexed when we're in our straddle jump? We always keep them pointed and our legs nice and straight. Okay, here, I'll show you guys a few more times. Ready? Straddle jump. Nice job. Great job. Let's grab a few more leaves. Very good job. 
Coach Catherine, I love how you landed your feet back together. That's great form for your straddle jump. Thank you, Coach Brad. When using our mission mat, we should be landing on the sun every single time. Let's do it together one more time and make it our best one yet. Ready? Straddle jump. Very good job. I cannot believe that those dinosaurs only ate leaves. That makes them our herbivore. That means they only ate vegetables and fruits. Kind of like you, Coach Haley. Wait, does that mean I'm a dinosaur? <laughs> no, Coach Haley. That just means that you're vegan. Oh. Let's go on to the next period. Wow, this looks really familiar. Is this the Jurassic period? It is, Coach Haley. It's the most popular time period for dinosaurs. And it's when T-Rex were alive. You say T-Rex? Mm -hmm. ah! Coach Brad, doesn't he know that we're too small to be a snack for T-Rexes? <gasps> Look, there's a dinosaur egg nest. That's so cool, Coach Haley. Did you know that dinosaurs lay their eggs in nests like birds or like modern-day crocodiles and they bury them in the ground? Look, that one's rolling away. It must be about to hatch. Let's try and roll with it. I'll go first. Let's start with our forward rolls with our hands. So I'm gonna put my feet on the lightning bolts, put my hands on the triangles, and forward roll. Nice Whoa. job, Coach Haley. Thanks. Let's do another one.
have my mission map out, and you should too. First, we're gonna start with our monkey jumps. I'm gonna put one foot on the orange triangle and my back foot on the orange lightning bolt. If you want, you can switch feet, but I like to do the other side. I'm gonna put my arms up super high, have my arms glued to my ears, and I'm gonna put my hands on the orange hearts. And we jump to the other side. So now, we're gonna start on this side of the mission path. My front leg is on the yellow square. My back leg is on the yellow star. And now, I'm gonna put my hands on the yellow hearts. And then we landed on the triangles. Let's do it one more time. Remember, always start in your lunge. <sighs> All right, friends, let's do it one more time to this side. <sighs> Great job, friends. I think next we should try and land on one foot. So, we're gonna start in our lunge again. And on the other side, we're going to land on our one foot. Whoa! Whoa! You really got a balance. Let's try it again. Whoa. Are you guys balancing too? It can be a little tricky. We're going to do one more round of it. Remember to keep your arms by your ears. Last one. Whoa. Okay, now that we've done that, I think we should try and do some cartwheels. So this time, we are going to land in our lunge. We're gonna start in our lunge, put our hands on the hearts, and land in the lunge. Whoa. Did y'all do it too? You want to give it another try? Let's do it from this side. When you land in your lunge, be sure to keep your arms by your ears the whole time. Let's do one more round. Were your legs straight and your toes pointed? We're gonna do one last one. Let's make it the biggest cartwheel. Great job, friends. I think we found enough food for the dinosaurs. Let's go see what Coach Catherine and Coach Brad are doing. Oh, Coach Haley, you made it back. Were you able to get enough food for the dinosaurs? I did get enough food for them. Oh, that's great. Adventurers, I had so much fun learning about the dinosaurs with you today. Oh, I am a little tired, though. Maybe we should head home. I'm tired, too. But first, let's 